chapters one hundred and sixty one through one hundred and seventy of the egyptian book of the dead by e a wallace budge this librivox recording is in the public domain chapter one hundred and sixty one vignette the god thoth opening the doors of the four winds text the chapter of forcing an entrance into heaven this thoth doeth to make felicitous the way for him that would enter into the disk one to the door of the west wind ra liveth the tortoise dieth pure is the body in the earth and pure are the bones of osiris the amkent nefer uben f triumphant two to the door of the east wind ra liveth the tortoise dieth sound is he who is in the chest who is in the chest osiris nefer uben f triumphant three to the door of the north wind ra liveth the tortoise dieth the osiris nefer uben f triumphant is strong in his members keb seneth guardeth them four to the door of the south wind ra liveth the tortoise dieth the bolts are drawn and they pass through his foundation rubric every sahu for whom these divine figures have been painted upon his coffin shall make his way through these four entrances into heaven that of the north wind belongeth to osiris that of the south wind to ra that of the west wind to isis and that of the east wind to nephthys each one of these winds shall breathe into his nostrils as he entereth in his daily course let none who is outside know this chapter it is a great mystery and those who dwell in the swamps that is the ignorant know it not thou shalt not do this in the presence of any person except thy father or thy son or thyself alone for it is indeed an exceedingly great mystery which no man whatever knoweth chapter one hundred and sixty two vignette a cow having the disc with plumes between her horns and wearing the collar from which is suspended the emblem of life round her neck text the chapter of making heat to be under the head of the deceased to be recited homage to thee o thou god par thou mighty one whose plumes are lofty thou lord of the uret crown who rulest with the whip thou art the lord of the phallus thou growest as thou shinest with rays of light and thy shining is to the uttermost parts of earth and sky thou art the lord of transformations and hast manifold skins which thou hidest in the uchat at its birth thou art the mighty one of names among the gods the mighty runner whose strides are mighty thou art the god the mighty one who comest and rescuest the needy one and the afflicted from him that oppresseth him give heed to my cry i am the cow and thy divine name is in my mouth and i will utter it ha ka ha ka her is thy name ara a ker san bathi is thy name ker sarau is thy name kar satha is thy name i praise thy name i am the cow that hearkeneth unto the petition on the day wherein thou placest heat under the head of ra o place it for him in the divine gate in anu heliopolis and thou shalt make him to become even like him that is upon the earth he is thy soul o be gracious unto osiris alphon triumphant and cause thou heat to exist under his head for indeed he is the soul of the great divine body which resteth in anu ku keper uru is his name barakatha chara is his name be gracious then and grant that he may become like unto one of those who are in thy following for he is even as art thou rubric this chapter shall be recited over the image of a cow which shall be made in fine gold and placed at the neck of the deceased and it shall be written upon new papyrus and placed under his head then shall abundant warmth be in him throughout even like that which was in him when he was upon earth this hath exceedingly great protective power for it was made by the cow for her son ra when he was setting and when his habitation was surrounded by a company of beings of fire and the deceased shall become divine in the underworld and he shall never be turned back at any of the gates thereof and thou shalt say when thou placest the image of this goddess at the neck of the deceased 
o amen o amen who art in heaven turn thy face upon the dead body of thy son and make him sound and strong in the underworld this is a composition of exceedingly great mystery let not the eye of any man whatsoever see it for it is an abominable thing for every man to know it therefore hide it book of the mistress of the hidden temple is its name chapter one hundred and sixty three vignette two winged uchats on legs and a serpent also upon legs with a disc and horns upon his head text the chapters which are taken from another work and are here added to the book of coming forth by day the chapter of not allowing the body of a man to moulder away in the underworld and of delivering him from those who devour the souls that are shut in in the underworld and of not allowing to rise up against him the things which he abominated upon earth and of making sound and strong his limbs and bones against worms and against every god who would attack him in the underworld and of causing him to come forth and to go in as he pleaseth and to do whatsoever he hath in his heart to do without hindrance the osiris afong triumphant saith i am the divine soul of the great divine body which is laid to rest in athabu which protecteth the body of harethi the which resteth in the marshes of senhakaraha o divine soul which hath no languor of heart either in rising or setting and which resteth within his divine body which is laid to rest in senhaparakana grant thou to osiris our ankh triumphant that he may deliver himself from the souls of the god of the savage face who gaineth the mastery over hearts and taketh possession of limbs and from whose mouths fire cometh forth to devour souls hail thou who art lying prostrate within thy body whose flame cometh into being from out of the fire which blazeth within the sea or water in such wise that the sea or water is raised up on high out of the fire thereof grant thou that the flame may leave the fire wherever it may be to raise up the hand of osiris of ankh triumphant and to make him to have an existence for ever and for ever verily let his period of existence be as the period of existence of heaven in the limitless boundaries thereof heaven holdeth thy soul o osiris of ankh and earth holdeth thy form o deliver thou osiris of ankh triumphant and let him not be consumed by the kawi who devour the souls of those who have raised up evil let his soul have its being within his body and let his body have its being with with his soul and let him be hidden within the pupil of the uchat of the god whose name is shari shari shapu netter ari ka who reposeth at the northwest of the brow of the opt of the land of kenset nubia and journeyeth not to the east hail god amen thou divine bull scarab thou lord of the divine uchats god the pupil of whose eye is terrible is thy name the osiris alf ankh triumphant born of sherat amsu triumphant is the emanation of thy two eyes the name of one of which is sher sherket and shapu neter arika of the other though shaka amen shakanasa at the brow of tem who illumineth the two lands is his name in very truth grant that osiris our ankh triumphant may be of this land of mayat let him not be left in his solitude for he is of this earth wherein he will no more appear and on is his name o let him be with a perfect coup or as others say a strong coup and let him be the soul of the mighty body which is in sal saiz the city of neith rubric this chapter is to be recited over a serpent having legs and wearing a disc and two horns and over two uchats having both eyes and wings in the pupil of one of the uchats there shall be a figure of the god of the lifted hand with the face of the divine soul and having plumes and a back like a hawk and in the pupil of the other there shall be a figure of the god of the lifted hand with the face of the goddess neith and having plumes and a back like a hawk and this chapter shall be written with anti either upon a may stone or upon mother of emerald of the south and dipped in water of the western lake of kent egypt or upon a bandage of uachit linen wherewith a man should swathe every limb and the deceased shall not be turned back at any gate of the underworld he shall eat and drink and ease himself even as he did when he was upon earth 
and none shall rise up to cry out against him and he shall be protected from the hands of the enemy for ever and ever if this book be recited for him upon earth he shall not be seized by the messengers of attack who work evil in all the earth he shall not have gashes inflicted upon him he shall not die through the slaughter of set and he shall not be carried off to any place of restraint whatsoever but he shall go in unto the ken bet and he shall come forth with triumph and he shall go out to terrify the evil-doers who exist in all the earth chapter one hundred and sixty four vignette a goddess with a head of a woman and two heads of a vulture standing with outstretched wings on each side of her is a dwarf with two heads one of a man and one of a hawk each dwarf has a disc and plumes upon his head text another chapter homage to thee o sekhet bast ra thou mistress of the gods thou bearer of wings lady of the honest bandlet queen of the crowns of the south and of the north only one sovereign of her father superior to whom the gods cannot be thou mighty one of enchantments in the boat of millions of years thou who art preeminent who risest in the seat of silence mother of pasha kasa royal wife of parahaka kapuru mistress and lady of the tomb mother in the horizon of heaven gracious one beloved destroyer of rebellion offerings are in thy grasp and thou art standing in the bows of the boat of thy divine father to overthrow the fiend thou hast placed mayat in the bows of his boat thou art the fire goddess ami seshet whose opportunity escapeth her not thy name is kaharasa parsaram kakaramet thou art like unto the mighty flame of sakanakat which is in the bows of the boat of thy father hara pukaka shara shabayu for behold this is the name uttered in the speech of the negroes and of the auntie and of people of takansatet nubia praise be to thee o lady who art mightier than the gods and words of adoration rise to thee from the eight gods the living souls who are in their chests praise thy mystery o thou who art their mother thou source from whom they sprang who makest for them a place of repose in the hidden underworld who makest sound their bones and preservest them from terror who makest them strong in the abode of everlastingness who preservest them from the evil chamber of the souls of the god of the terrible face who is among the company of the gods babe that comest forth from the god of the terrible face who keepeth his body hidden is thy name atari am chur kem tu renu par sheta is the name of one divine son pa nema is the name of the other uchat of sekhet mighty lady mistress of the gods is thy name emanation of is the name of mut who maketh souls strong and who maketh sound bodies and who delivereth them from the abode of the fiends which is in the evil chamber the goddess saith with her own mouth they shall never be fettered and i will do according to what ye say o ye tichawi of the divine son for whom they perform the funeral rites rubric this chapter shall be recited over a figure of mut which hath three heads the first shall be like unto that of pekut and shall have upon it plumes the second shall be like unto that of a man and shall have upon it the crowns of the south and north and the third shall be like unto that of a vulture and shall have upon it plumes and the figure shall have a phallus and a pair of wings and the claws of a lion and it shall be painted with ant and powder of uach mixed with yellow colour upon a bandage of honest linen and in front of it shall stand one dwarf and behind it another and each shall have upon him plumes and one hand and arm shall be raised and each shall have two faces one of a hawk and one of a man and the body of each shall be fat then shall the deceased be divine along with the gods in the underworld he shall never never be turned back his flesh and his bones shall be like those of one who hath never been dead he shall drink water at the source of the stream a homestead shall be given unto him in sekhet anre he shall become a star of heaven he shall set out against the serpent fiend nekau and against tar who are in the underworld he shall not be shut in along with the souls which are fettered he shall deliver himself wherever he may be and worms shall not devour him chapter one hundred and sixty five vignette an ithyphallic god with the body of a beetle on his head are plumes and his right hand and arm are raised behind him is a man who has a ram's head on each shoulder text the chapter of arriving in port to make the body germinate and to drink water and not to disappear recite the following 
hail bekenu bekenu o prince prince o amen amen o re lukasa o god prince of the gods of the eastern part of heaven o amen na bakarethi amen o thou whose skin is hidden whose form is secret thou lord of the two horns of nut thy name is na ari k or as others say ka ari ka ka sa i ka is thy name arathika sa the ka is thy name amen na an ka antek shara or as others say thek shara amen karethi is thy name o amen let me make supplication unto thee i even i know thy name thy transformations are in my mouth thy skin is before my eyes come i pray thee and place thou thy air and thy image osiris alf an triumphant born of sherat amsu triumphant in the everlasting underworld grant thou that all his members may repose in neter kertet the underworld or as others say in ekertet the underworld let his whole body become like that of a god let him escape from the evil chamber and let him not be imprisoned therein i adore thy name thou hast made for me a skin and thou hast comprehended my speech and thou knowest it exceedingly well amen is thy name o retz ashaka i have made for thee a skin namely a divine soul Arakai is thy name mar kathai is thy name rarai is thy name nasab bubu is thy name vanasa vanasa is thy name shara shatha is thy name o amen o amen o god o god o amen i adore thy name grant thou to me that i may comprehend thee grant thou that i may have peace in the tuat underworld and may possess all my members therein and the divine soul which is in nut saith i will make my divine strength to protect thee and i will perform everything which thou hast said rubric this chapter shall be recited over a figure of the god of the lifted hand which shall have plumes upon its head the legs thereof shall be wide apart and the middle portion of it shall be in the form of a beetle and it shall be painted blue with lapis lazuli mixed with kamai water and it shall be recited over a figure with a head like unto that of a man and the hands and arms thereof shall be stretched away from its body above its right shoulder shall there be the head of a ram and above its left shoulder shall there be the head of a ram and thou shalt paint upon a piece of linen a figure of the god of the lifted hand immediately over his heart and thou shalt paint the other figure over the breasts let not the god sakati who is in the underworld know it then shall the deceased drink water from the source of the stream and he shall shine like the stars in the heavens above chapter one hundred and sixty six vignette a headrest text the chapter of the pillow thou art lifted up o sick one that liest prostrate o scribe nebseni they lift up thy head to the horizon thou art raised up and dost triumph by reason of what hath been done for thee ptah hath overthrown thine enemies according to what was ordered to be done for thee thou art horus the son of hathor nesser nesser tet who giveth back the head after the slaughter thy head shall not be carried away from thee after the slaughter thy head shall never never be carried away from thee chapter one hundred and sixty seven vignette the uchat resting upon the emblem of gold text the chapter bringing the uchat nebseni the scribe saith the god thoth hath brought the uchat and he hath made it to rest or to be at peace after it departed o ra it was grievously afflicted by a storm but thoth made it to be at rest after it had departed from the storm i am sound and it is sound i am sound and it is sound and nebseni the lord of piety is sound chapter one hundred and sixty eight vignette a stream upon which sail three boats the first contains kenemu the second kapera and the third ra each god is seated in a shrine harpocrates occupies the place of lookout in the boats of kenem and ra behind the boats ra is seated on a throne which rests on the water two hands and arms stretch down from heaven and enshrine him a man-headed sphinx on a bier a god with a serpent on his head two gods lying on biers with a serpent between anubis a goddess seated a bull on a pedestal a man-headed lion two gods and two goddesses a bowed human figure and a mummy a man holding a disc a disc shedding light two women lying face downwards two male figures each carrying a human being on his head text the twenty-seven short lines of text which accompany this vignette consist of extracts from a version of the chapter which is given in full immediately following and to this the reader is referred 
chapter one hundred and sixty eight section one text may they who carry the burden above them to heaven in front of the boat of ra grant that osiris may see ra when he shineth vignette a god carrying a child upon his shoulders and the number four text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris the lord of offerings in amentet in the bite of sekhet ahetep text may they who carry the burden above them to heaven in front of the boat of ra grant that osiris may see ra when he shineth vignette a god carrying a child upon his shoulders and four text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris the follower of the great god the lord of the beautiful amentet text may they who smite ra grant that cakes shall come unto osiris as to the followers of ra when he setteth vignette a woman lying face downwards and four text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris when horus the lord of tehent cometh text may they who possess offerings grant that osiris shall exist even as do those who are in the underworld vignette a woman lying face downwards and four text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who shall come forth and go in along with ra for ever text may those who build up grant that osiris shall arrive happily in the hall of double truth vignette a woman lying face downwards and four text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris as lord of offerings in the beautiful amentet text may those who make adorations grant that osiris shall follow after ra in his boat vignette a god bowing to the ground and four text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who shall walk with long strides with the gods of the underworld text may those who have offerings and who make sacrificial meals for the gods grant oblations of touch of foul food to osiris in the underworld vignette a god holding upright a conical object text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris along with them whose souls shall stand up at the pylon section two the gods of the eighth quaret in the underworld whose attributes are hidden and who wins text may the gods who dwell in their shrines the princes of nu grant that osiris shall drink water vignette a god in a shrine with three serpents in front of him and three behind him at the entrance to the shrine is the number fourteen text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris may his soul live and his body be preserved in the underworld text may the gods who are in the following of osiris grant that the body of osiris shall rest along with his sa vignette a woman and a god and the number fourteen text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris by the side of the great god within his boat text may aha that is he who standeth makes osiris to praise ra when he riseth vignette a god standing holding a sceptre text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris triumphant who shall be with those who are over their altars text may amen that is the hidden one give power unto osiris in the hall of seb vignette a cow standing on a standard text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris triumphant who knoweth all the mysteries of the tuat text may sheta that is the secret one make the body of osiris to grow and to be sound upon earth and in the underworld vignette a god standing upright text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase by osiris as the lord of strides in the underworld and in restyle text may setek give cakes and ale to osiris along with you in the house of osiris vignette a god standing with a platform upon his head whereon is a bull text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who hath entered into all the secret places of the tua text may sesheta al sar that is he who maketh osiris to be secret grant that osiris may be a lord of strides in the habitation of teshet sert vignette a god standing with a platform upon his head whereon is a bull text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth when he becometh the lord of an abode in the underworld text may sherem not allow any evil thing to come to osiris in the underworld 
vignette a god standing upright text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris the soul that hearkeneth unto the words of the gods text me sta that is the leader grant that osiris may see ra when he riseth and when he setteth vignette a bull upon a standard text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris may his limbs live and may his limbs be sound for ever text may senk that is splendour give glory to osiris upon earth and make him strong in amentet vignette a god standing upright text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris may his legs have power as the lord of an abode in amentet text may he who liveth in darkness that is horus grant that osiris shall be among those who are over their altars vignette a crocodile-headed god standing upright text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who is in the everlasting tuat text may the of osiris grant that he shall be near the great god the lord of amentet vignette a god standing upright and the number four text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris may he become the lord of his hands and have power over his heart in the underworld text may those whose hands hide grant that osiris shall be along with them in the underworld vignette a god standing upright and hiding something with his hands text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris may they bring me to the throne of osiris text may those whose hands hide grant that osiris shall be sound and that offering shall be before him continually vignette as in number thirteen text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who shall be a lord of horns and shall listen unto the words of the gods text may he whose limbs are hidden give right and truth to osiris before ra and in the company of his gods vignette a god standing upright text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris as lord of the phallus and ravisher of women for ever text may the souls who come forth open the mouth of osiris among the gods who are along with them vignette a bird on a tree and the number four text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris among the living ones the lords of eternity text may those who belong to their grant that osiris may have power over his offerings upon earth even as have the gods the lords of offerings vignette a god standing upright and the number four text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who shall be endowed abundantly with touch of foul food in the underworld text may those who receive grant that osiris shall enter in over all the secret places of the tuat vignette a god bowing to the ground in a star text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who shall have power over offerings upon earth and be the lord of altars text may the ananit that is widows grant that osiris shall be with the great goddess possessor of a phallus before vignette a woman kneeling on a couch text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who shall be ordered to dwell in the secret place in the darkness text may osiris anubis grant that osiris may be a possessor of a sea in ta chesotet vignette anubis holding a hawk-headed sceptre in each hand text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who shall go in and pass through the pylon of osiris section three the gods of the tenth kurert in the tuat who are to be praised and whose mysteries are holy text may those who are denizens of light grant that osiris shall shine in the darkness vignette a god standing upright and the number eight text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who praiseth the great god in his abode day by day text may the smiters grant that osiris may be among those who sing praises vignette a god standing upright holding in his upraised hand a hatchet dripping with blood text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris on the day when he repulseth the serpent fiend by the mighty one of iniquity text may the company of gods who guard those who are in the tuat give the breaths of life to osiris upon earth and in the underworld vignette a god lying on a bier and the number nine 
text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who shooteth forth his hand and repulseth him that cometh text may the company of the gods of the hidden hand give glory unto osiris as unto the perfect khus vignette a god standing upright and the number nine text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who shall be sound upon earth and in the underworld text may the hidden goddess grant that the soul of osiris may grow and that his body may be preserved even as are those of the gods who dwell in the tuat vignette a woman standing before an uchat text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris whose soul shall rest upon whatever seat he pleaseth text may the souls of the gods who have come into being in the members of osiris grant that he shall have peace vignette a woman lying upon her back and the number twenty one text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who shall receive his place in the land of the underworld text may those who praise ra not turn osiris back at the pylons of the tuat vignette a god standing upright and the number four text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who shall come forth by day and shall refresh himself in the place of coolness text may the beings of warlike face grant coolness unto osiris in the place of flame vignette a woman standing upright in the number four text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who shall sit in the shrine with the great god section four the gods of the eleventh kereret of the tuat text may the goddess amamet grant that osiris shall be strong before the great god in the tuat vignette a woman in a shrine text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who shall become like the god kapera in amentet text may the soul of ament grant sepulchral meals unto osiris upon earth and in the underworld vignette a god standing upright text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris the lord of the abode of peace in the mountain of the underworld text may the soul of the earth make osiris to triumph over his enemies in heaven and upon earth vignette a god standing upright with drooping hands and the number four text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris whose body shall be concealed from any that would look upon him text may those who sing praises grant that osiris shall be like the divine mariners who are in heaven vignette a man standing upright with his hands raised text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris when he entereth through the hidden pylons text may the company of the gods who rule over ament grant that osiris shall go in through the secret door of the house of osiris vignette a god lying upon a bier and the number nine text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who shall walk with long strides among the lords of the tuat text may the company of the gods who are in the following of osiris grant that osiris shall have power over his enemies vignette a god lying upon or by the side of a serpent on a bier text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris when he becometh a perfect soul day by day text may ake grant that osiris shall be with ra and that he shall walk over heaven for ever vignette a god standing upright and holding a sceptre text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris when he is in the following of him that dwelleth in the city of embalmment that is anubis the lord of ta chesert text may those who osiris grant that the soul of osiris may live and that it may never die a second time vignette a god standing upright and the number four text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris for whom lamentation shall be decreed as for his god text may the nine watchers grant that osiris may wake up and that he may never be destroyed vignette anubis on a standard and the number nine text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris triumphant before osiris the lord of the land of the lake text may the nine mourners cause mourning to be made for osiris as was made for osiris vignette a woman lying on the ground face downwards text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris when his soul cometh forth with the coup text may he that invoketh ra invoke osiris before ra and before the company of his gods vignette a god crying out to some one text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris when his soul goeth into the hidden place and cometh forth from earth 
text may aken drive away every evil thing from osiris for ever vignette a god standing upright with hands hanging down text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris when he cometh in peace and hath triumphed text may those who dwell with tesser grant that osiris may go in and come out with long strides like the lords of the tuat vignette a woman-headed serpent over a pylon text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who shall go in and come forth through the door of the tuat text may the goddess to cert grant that osiris may have power over the water vignette a god standing upright and the number four text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris when he shall walk up the great staircase text may mehenet grant that osiris may be a distinguished being in the tuat for ever vignette a serpent on a pylon text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris as a perfect soul in his shrine text may those who dwell with mehenet grant that osiris may walk with long strides in the holy place vignette a woman standing upright in the number four text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris when he is with the followers of horus text may the company of the gods who hide osiris grant that osiris shall sit upon the throne which he loveth being yet a seated god and the number nine text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who shall be among the lords of maat text may he that destroyeth the face open the face of osiris and let him see the coup vignette a god standing upright text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who shall be in the following of the goddess mehi of amentet section four the gods of the twelfth kararet in the tuat text may mayat grant that osiris may be a lord of the lake of maati vignette a god standing upright and holding a sceptre text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris as a lord of offerings in sekhet aru text may the gods who dwell in the land of the tuat grant justice unto osiris in the hall of double truth vignette a god standing upright and holding a sceptre text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who shall plough in sekhet hetep text may the gods who dwell with mehen grant that osiris shall be in whatsoever place his ka wisheth to be vignette a god within the folds of a serpent text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who shall come into being at the words of the lord of amentet text may the gods who possess land grant a lake unto osiris in sekhet anru vignette a god standing upright and the number four text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who shall sit upon whatsoever place he would there text may her ta grant an estate unto osiris in sekhet hetep vignette a snake-headed god text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who shall be protected by amulets like the lords of the tuat text may the gods who dwell in the land grant offerings and to chow food and joints of meat to osiris in the underworld and yet a god standing upright with arms hanging down and the number four text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris when ra setteth in manu text may the chiefs of the secret things who dwell in the land place their wall behind osiris even as they do for the still heart and yet a ram-headed sceptre text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris when he cometh forth and goeth into the underworld text may the gods who dwell in the folds of the serpent goddess mahen grant a sight of the disc to osiris vignette a god within the folds of a serpent text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris as a ku who hath gained power over fresh water text may anu ba grant peace unto osiris in amentet vignette a god bowing text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris and coming out and going into ament along with other folk therein chapter one hundred and sixty nine vignette the chapter is without vignette text the chapter of making to stand up the hen kit 
the am kent osiris nefer uben f triumphant saith thou art the lion god thou art the double lion god thou art horus the avenger of his father osiris thou art four the four glorious gods acclamation is made unto thee along with cries of delight and sounds of joy and the water from their haunches and from their thighs i bring unto thee thou art lifted up on thy right side and thou art lifted up on thy left side the god seb hath opened for thee thy two eyes which were blind and he hath given thee the power to stretch out thy legs in walking hath been bound unto thee thy heart ab thy mother and thy heart hot is in thy body the soul is in heaven and thy body is under the ground there are cakes for thy body and water for thy throat and sweet breezes for thy nostrils and thou art satisfied with offerings those who dwell in their shrines open their abodes unto thee thou hast thy provisions and thou journeyest along thou art established upon that which emanateth from thy existence and thou comest forth from heaven the cord hath been coiled up for thee by the side of ra and thou snarest fish with the net in the stream from which thou drinkest vessels of water thou performest a journey on thy legs and in going forward thou dost not stumble thou comest forth from over the earth thou dost not make thy appearance from below the walls thereof thy walls are not thrown down and what there is of thine within hath been made for thee by the god of thy city thou art pure thou art pure thy fore parts are washed by libations and thy hinder parts are cleansed with resin and natron and made cool with incense thou art made clean with the milk of the hap cow and with the ale of the goddess tenement and with natron all the evil which clung to thee hath been done away with and tefnet the daughter of ra hath made offerings on thy behalf even as she did for her father ra and the funeral valley which was the burial place of her father osiris hath been set in order for thee i make to eat of the sweet things which he giveth there the osias nefer uben f triumphant that is to say the celestial cakes which are before ra and the grain and drink and the four terrestrial cakes which are before the god seb and the grain brought by the citizens i have brought unto thee sek het hetep and the gifts thereof are before thee thou comest forth as ra thou hast gotten power as ra and thou hast gotten power over thy legs and thou o osiris nefer uben f hast gotten power over thy legs at every season and at every hour thou hast not been condemned in the judgment thou hast not been put under restraint a guard hath not been set over thee thou hast not been imprisoned and thou hast not been given over to the chamber of the fiends therein the sand is gathered together before thy face and guarded are the offerings which are for thee thy face is not suffered to be turned back and thou art guarded and dost not come forth thou hast received thy tunic and thy sandals and thy stick and thy garment and thy weapons for fighting of all kinds wherewith thou shalt cut off heads thou shalt turn back the necks of thy foes whom thou shalt take captive and thou shalt keep away from thee death so that it shall not come nigh unto thee and the great god has said concerning thee bring him hither on the day when events take place the hawk rejoiceth in thee and the smen goose cackleth at thee ra openeth for thee the doors of heaven and seb unbolteth for thee the earth thy ku is mighty and it is perfect knowing thy name thy soul maketh a way through ament and thy perfect soul o nefer uben f triumphant hath the power of speech thy form is within ra and it resteth within the divine sovereign chiefs of him who uniteth the two paths mankind keepeth guard over it and the double lion god guideth it to the place where thou o osiris nefer uben f triumphant makest thy ka to rest and behold the two lands and mankind work the snare for thee thou livest thy soul is strong thy body is enduring and great thou hast sight of the fire thou dost snuff the breeze thy face doth penetrate into the house of darkness thou abidest at the gap thou dost not see the whirlwind and the storm thou followest in the train of the prince of the two lands and thou refreshest thyself on the branch of merit tree on both sides of the god ur hekau the goddess seshetet sitteth before thee the god sa protecteth thy members the steer and his cow give thee milk from the breast in the following of sekhat heru thou washest thyself at the mouth of the stream of ker abba thou art in favour with the princes of the cities of pe and tep the god thoth and thyself see each other and ra in heaven holdeth converse with thee thou comest forth from and thou enterest into the anet chamber and thou holdest converse with the two divine combatants that is horus and set 
thy ka is with thee to make thee to rejoice thy heart is with thee to give thee thy transformations happy keep watch over thee the company of the gods make thy heart glad thou comest forth to four cakes in the city of sekhem and four in the city of akanu thou comest forth to four in the city of anu upon the altar of the lady of the two lands the stars keep watch over thee by night the lords of anu have a favour unto thee the god who is in thy mouth thy feet are not turned back and thy members have life thou graspeth the sma in abtu the sacrificial cakes of the divine chiefs and the libations of the celestial beings are brought forward to thee with the offerings in the festival which are due to osiris on the morning of the uak festival for hidden things thou art ornamented with objects of gold and thine apparel is interwoven with bises hapi that is the nile thrusteth himself upon thy body thou hast power over the tablet which is inscribed with lists of offerings and thou drinkest water on both sides of the lake of testes the gods who are there have a favour unto thee and thou comest forth from heaven along with the gods who make to advance the maat of ra and thou art led into the presence of the company of the gods and there is done for thee even as it is done for one of them thou art the cart bird of the geese and the pata of the southern wall maketh an offering unto nefer uben f triumphant chapter one hundred and seventy vignette the chapters without vignette text the chapter of arranging the henket the osiris nefer uben f saith thy flesh have i given unto thee thy bones have i fastened together for thee thy members have i collected for thee the earth submitteth itself unto thee thy limbs are guarded thou art the mighty one within the egg thou art set in order thou seest the gods thou settest out on thy way and thy hand reacheth unto the horizon and unto the holy place where thou wouldst be there is acclamation made unto thee and there are shouts of joy raised to thee at thine appearances at the altar horus maketh thee to stand up at his risings even as he did him who is in the chamber of holiness hail osiris nefer uben f triumphant the goddess ua hath given thee birth and ampu anubis who dwelleth upon his hill hath set thee in order and he hath fastened for thee thy swathings hail nefer uben f the god ptah sekri hath given unto thee of the ornaments of the divine house which he hath hail nefer uben f the god thoth himself cometh unto thee with the books of holy words and he maketh thy hand to reach unto the horizon even unto the place wherein thy ka loveth to be and osiris worketh for thee on the night of journeying unto life thy white crown is established on thy brow the god nemu is with thee and he giveth unto thee fine feathered fowl hail osiris nefer uben f triumphant thou hast been set in order upon thy funeral couch thou comest forth and ra who is in the hidden horizon within his boat hath set thee in order hail osiris nefer uben f triumphant the god tem the father of the gods hath made for thee the things which are to endure for ever hail osiris nefer uben f triumphant the god amsu of kebti hath set thee in order and the gods of the shrine praise thee hail osiris nefer uben f with twofold happiness thou settest out in peace to thine everlasting habitation and to thine abode of eternity homage is paid unto thee in the cities of pe and tepu in the shrine which thy ka loveth and before thine abode and thou art the mighty one of souls and hast set thee in order and the gods embrace thee thou art like a god and thou hast been begotten for transformations which are more numerous and with a created form more perfect than those of the gods thou hast more light than the khus and thou art more mighty of souls than are those who are in them hail osias nefer uben f ptah on his southern wall hath set thee in order and he hath made to advance thine abode more than that of the gods hail osiris the am kent nefer uben f thou art horus the son of isis begotten of ptah and nut hath created thee a being of light like unto ra in the horizon when he illumineth the two lands with his beauteous light and the gods say unto thee come forward advance now and look thou upon the things which are thine in thine abode of everlastingness the goddess renatet the heir and firstborn of tem hath set thee in order in the presence of the company of the gods of nut i even i am the heir of heaven and the fellow of the god who maketh his light i have come forth from the womb and i shall grow young again even as doth my father and i shall not be prevented from making my answer in my season End of chapters one hundred and sixty one through seventy chapters one hundred and seventy one through one hundred and eighty 
of the egyptian book of the dead by e a wallace budge this librivox recording is in the public domain chapter one hundred and seventy one vignette this chapter has no vignette text the chapter of tying on the garment of purity ab o tem o shu o tefnut o seb o nut o osiris o isis o set o nephthys o heru kuti hamarchus o hathor in the great house o capera o menthu the lord of thebes o amen the lord of the thrones of the two lands o great company of the gods o little company of the gods o gods and goddesses who dwell in nu o sebek of the two mate o sebek and all thy manifold names in thine every place wherein thy ka hath delight o gods of the south o gods of the north o ye who are in heaven o ye who are upon earth grant ye this garment of purity to the perfect khu of amenhetep grant ye your strength unto him and destroy ye all the evil which belongeth unto amenhetep by means of this garment of purity hold ye him guiltless then for ever and ever and destroy ye all the evil which belongeth unto him chapter one hundred and seventy two vignette this chapter has no vignette text the first of the chapters of the arrangements or praisings which are to be performed in the underworld i snuff the bet incense i inhale the scent of hesmen natron and incense i am pure with the purity of pure are the praises which come forth from my mouth more pure than mayat itself of the fish that are in the river to the statue of the temple of hesmen natron pure are the praises of the scribe nebseni the designer of the house of gold begotten of the scribe and designer thena triumphant born of the lady of the house mut restha triumphant and as for the scribe nebseni the lord of piety who is happy with a twofold happiness ptah hath a favour unto him and he of the southern wall hath a favour unto him and every god hath a favour unto him and every goddess hath a favour unto him thy beauties are a stream bearing things which cause rest and are like unto water which floweth nearer thy beauties are like a hall of festival wherein each man may exalt his own god thy beauties are like unto the pillar of the god ptah and like the courtyard of incense of ra nebseni the scribe and designer of the temple of ptah hath been made a pillar of ptah and the libation vase of the god of the southern wall one hail verily thou art invoked hail verily thou art invoked hail verily thou art lamented verily thou art praised verily thou art exalted verily thou art glorious verily thou art strong hail thou scribe nebseni thou who hast been raised up thou art raised up by means of the ceremonies which have been performed for thee thine enemies have fallen and the god ptah hath thrown down headlong thy foes thou hast triumphed over them and thou hast gained power over them they obey thy words and they perform that which thou orderest them to do thou art raised up and thy word is a law unto the divine sovereign chiefs of every god and of every goddess two hail verily thou art invoked hail verily thou art invoked thy head o my lord is a standard with locks of rippling hair like unto the hair of a woman of asia thy face shineth more brightly than the house of the moon god the upper part of thy head is azure in colour thy locks are blacker than the doors of the underworld thy hair is dark as night thy visage is decorated with an azure blue the rays of ra are upon thy face thy garments are of gold which horus hath deftly ornamented with azure blue thine eyebrows are the two sister goddesses who are at peace with each other and whom horus hath deftly ornamented with azure blue thy nose snuffeth in and thy nostrils exhale as it were the winds from heaven 
thine eyes look towards mount bacau of the rising sun thine eyelashes are fixed each day and the upper eyelids to which they belong are a veritable lapis lazuli the apples of thine eyes are as offerings of peace and the lower eyelids are filled with eye paint of mest chem thy two lips give unto thee law they repeat unto thee the law of ra and they make to be at peace the hearts of the gods thy teeth are the two heads of the serpent goddess mehen which sport with the horus gods thy tongue is made skilful thy speech is more shrill than that of the tcheru bird of the field thy jawbones are starry lamps thy breasts are established upon their seats and they journey unto the funeral mountain of amentet three hail verily thou art invoked hail verily thou art invoked thy neck is decorated with gold and it is girt about with refined copper thy gullet and throat are those of anpu thy bones are the bones of the two uach goddesses thy backbone is studded with gold and is girt about with refined copper thy loins are those of nephthys thy is a nile which is without water thy buttocks are two crystal eggs thy thighs are strong for walking thou sittest upon thy seat and the gods give unto thee thine eyes o scribe nebseni thou lord of piety for hail verily thou art invoked hail verily thou art invoked thy throat is the throat of anpu thy members are plated with gold thy breasts are two crystal eggs which horus hath deftly ornamented with azure blue thy shoulders are made like unto crystal thine arms are established through the strength which protecteth them thy heart is glad each day thy breast is of the work of the two divine forms thy person adoreth the starry deities who dwell in the heights and depths of heaven thy belly is as it were the heavens thy navel is the tua that is underworld which is open and which ordereth the light in the darkness and the offerings of which are ankham flowers and nebseni praiseth the majesty of thoth the beloved one saying may his beauties be in my tomb and may all the purity which he loveth be there even as my god hath commanded for me five hail verily thou art invoked hail verily thou art invoked thy two hands are a pool of water in the season of an abundant inundation a pool of water fringed about with the divine offering of the water god thy thighs are encircled with gold thy knees are the plants of the waters where are the nests of the birds thy feet are established each day thy legs lead thee into a path of happiness o scribe nebseni thou favoured one thy hands and arms are pillars set upon their pedestals thy fingers are strips of gold the nails of which are like sharp flakes of flint by reason of the works which they perform for thee six hail verily thou art invoked hail verily thou art invoked thou clothest thyself with the garment of purity abu and behold thou drawest off from thyself the umet garment when thou goest up to stretch thyself upon the couch haunches of meat are cut for thy ka o scribe nebseni and a breast or heart of the animal is offered unto thy sahu thou receivest a garment of the finest linen from the hands of the ministrant of ra thou eatest the cakes upon the cloth which the goddess tiet herself hath prepared thou eatest the haunch of the animal thou takest boldly the joint which ra hath endowed with power in his holy place thou washest thy feet in the silver basins which the god seker the artificer hath wrought and behold thou eatest of the cake which appeareth on the altar and which the two divine fathers have sanctified thou eatest of the baked bread and of the hot meats of the storehouse thou smellest the flowers thy heart feareth not 
to advance to the altar of the offerings made to thee and those who feed thee with food make for thee the loaves and bread cakes of the souls of anu heliopolis and they themselves bear them unto thee thine offerings are ordered for thee and thy ordinances are in the gates of the great house thou risest up like sa orion thou arrivest like the star bow and the goddess nut stretcheth out her hands unto thee sa orion the son of ra and nut who gave birth to the gods the two mighty gods in heaven speak each to the other saying take the scribe and draughtsman nebseni into thine arms and i will take him into mine on this day and let us make happiness for him when praises are sung to him and when mention is made of him and when his name is in the mouth of all young men and maidens thou art raised up o nebseni and thou hearest the songs of commemoration through the door of thy house seven hail verily thou art invoked hail verily thou art invoked anubis hath bestowed upon thee thy winding-sheet he hath wrought for thee according to his will he hath provided thee with the ornaments of his bandages for he is the overseer of the great god thou settest out on thy way and thou hast been washed in the lake of perfection thou makest offerings in the celestial mansions and thou propitiatest the lords of anu heliopolis the water of ra is presented unto thee in vessels and milk in large vases thou art raised up and thou makest offerings upon the altar thou washest thy feet upon the stone of on the banks of the lake of god thou comest forth and thou seest ra upon the pillars which are the arms of heaven upon the head of an mut f and upon the arms of apuat he openeth out for thee away and thou seest the horizon wherein is the place of purity which thou lovest eight hail verily thou art invoked hail verily thou art invoked offerings are allotted unto thee in the presence of ra and according to that which horus and thoth ordered for thee thou hast had a beginning and an end they invoke thee o scribe nebseni and see thy splendour there causing thee to come forth as a god and to advance to the souls of anu thou goest forth upon the great roads in thy sa who hast received the offerings of thy father upon thy two hands thou art furnished with linen garments each day at the beginning of the journey of the god through the gates of the great house nine hail verily thou art invoked hail verily thou art invoked the scribe nebseni hath air for his nose and breath for his nostrils and one thousand geese and fifty baskets of pure and fair offerings hail nebseni thine enemies have fallen down headlong and they shall never more exist chapter one hundred and seventy three vignette osiris the great god the lord of abtu the lord of transformations the prince of eternity seated in a shrine the deceased stands with hands raised in adoration before the god and the ground between them is covered with the bodies of birds and beasts which have been prepared for sacrifice text the speeches of horus to his divine father osiris when he entereth in to see him and when he cometh forth from near the great abbot chamber to look upon ra as un nefer the lord of ta chichisert when doth each embrace the other at the pleasure of his coup there in the underworld a hymn of praise to osiris governor of those in the underworld the great god the lord of abydos the king of eternity the prince of everlastingness the holy god and restau by the scribe nebseni who saith i ascribe praise unto thee o lord of the gods thou god one who livest upon right and truth behold i thy son horus come unto thee i have avenged thee and i have brought to thee maat even to the place where is the company of thy gods grant thou that i may have my being among those who are in thy following for i have overthrown all thy foes and i have established all those who are of thy substance upon the earth for ever and ever here 
follow forty declarations each of which is preceded by the words hail osiris i am thy son i have come and i have avenged thee o my father osiris i have come and i have overthrown for thee thine enemies i have come and i have done away with every evil thing which belongeth unto thee i have come and i have slain for thee him that attacked thee i have come and i have sent forth mine arm against those who were hostile towards thee i have come and i have brought unto thee the fiends of set with their fetters upon them i have come and i have brought unto thee the land of the south and i have united unto thee the land of the north i have come and i have established for thee divine offerings from the south and from the north i have come and i have ploughed for thee the fields i have come and i have filled for thee the canals with water i have come and i have hoed up for thee the ground i have come and i have built cisterns for thee i have come and i have gone round about the soil for thee i have come and i have made sacrificial victims of those who were hostile to thee i have come and i have made sacrifices unto thee of thine animals and victims for slaughter i have come and i have supplied thee with food in abundance of the creatures which are upon earth i have come and i have brought unto thee i have come and i have slain for thee i have come and i have smitten for thee emasculated beasts i have come and i have netted for thee birds and feathered fowl i have come and i have taken captive for thee thine enemies in their chains i have come and i have fettered for thee thine enemies with fetters i have come and i have brought for thee cool water from abu elephantine wherewith thou mayest refresh thine heart i have come and i have brought unto thee herbs of every kind i have come and i have established for thee those who are of thy substance daily i have come and i have made thy cakes in the city of pei of the red barley i have come and i have made thy ale in the city of tepu of the white grain i have come and i have ploughed for thee wheat and barley in sekhet awaru i have come and i have reaped it for thee therein i have come and i have glorified thee i have come and i have given to thee thy souls i have come and i have given to thee thy power i have come and i have given to thee thy i have come and i have given to thee thy i have come and i have given to thee thy terror i have come and i have given to thee thy victory i have come and i have given to thee thine eyes which are the plumes on thy head i have come and i have given to thee isis and nephthys that they may establish thee i have come and i have fill for thee the eye of horus with oil or unguent i have come and i have brought unto thee the eye of horus whereby thy face shall be destroyed chapter one hundred and seventy four vignette the deceased standing with her back towards a door from which she has just come forth text the chapter of causing the coup to come forth from the great door mut hetepeth triumphant saith thy son hath offered up for thee a sacrifice and the divine mighty ones tremble when they look upon the slaughtering knife which is in thy hand when thou comest forth from the tuat homage to thee o god sa the god seb hath created thee and the company of the gods have given birth unto thee horus resteth upon his eye and the god tem resteth upon his years and the gods of the east and of the west rest upon the mighty one who hath come into existence within thy hand a god hath been born now that i have been born i see and i have sight i have my existence i am lifted up upon my place i have done what hath been decreed i hate slumber i have endowed with might the feeble one he that dwelleth in the city of netet hath made cakes for me in the city of pei and i have received my form in anu for it is horus who hath commanded what shall be done for his father the lord of winds and the god set quaketh he hath raised me up and tem hath raised me up o oh, i am the mighty one and i have come forth from between the thighs of the company of the gods i have been conceived by sekhet and by shes kentet and i have been brought forth at the door of the star sept sothis the foremost one who with long strides bringeth along the celestial path of ra day by day i have come to my habitation as prince of the north and south and i rise or i am crowned in the gate hail thou of the double plumes who art called by the name of my shepes i am the lotus which shineth in the land of purity and which hath received me and which maketh my abode at the nostrils of the great form i have come into the lake of flame and i have placed right and truth in the place of sin i am the watcher of the sesheru garments and the watcher of the uraeus on the night of the flood of the great one 
i rise like nephratim who is the lotus at the nostrils of ra when he cometh forth from the horizon each day and the gods are purified at the sight of the lady of the house mut hetepeth who is triumphant before the cause and who gathereth together hearts for say our -er, whom the god say amenti ra holdeth i have come upon my seat before the cause and i have gathered together hearts for sea ert and i have my being as sea whom ra the god of amenti holdeth and the tchetch implement is with me i recite the mighty words which are in the heart on the festival of the ansi garment and i am sa amenti ra the strong of heart within the hidden chamber of nu chapter one hundred and seventy five vignette the deceased and his wife standing with hands raised in adoration before the god thoth who is seated upon a pylon shaped throne and has the emblem of life upon his knees text the chapter of not dying a second time osiris the scribe ani triumphant saith hail thoth what is it that hath happened unto the divine children of nut they have done battle they have upheld strife they have done evil they have created the fiends they have made slaughter they have caused trouble in truth in all their doings the mighty have worked against the weak grant o might of thought that that which the god tem hath decreed may be done and thou regardest not evil nor art thou provoked to anger when they bring their years to confusion and throng in and push to disturb their months for in all that they have done unto thee they have worked iniquity in secret i am thy writing pallet o thoth and i have brought unto thee thine ink-jar i am not of those who work iniquity in their secret places let not evil happen unto me saith osiris the scribe ani hail to me what manner of land is this into which i have come it hath not water it hath not air it is depth unfathomable it is black as the blackest night and men wander helplessly therein in it a man may not live in quietness of heart nor may the longings of love be satisfied therein but let the state of the shining ones be given unto me instead of water and air and the satisfying of the longings of love and let quietness of heart be given unto me instead of cakes and ale the god tem hath decreed that i shall see thy face and that i shall not suffer from the things which pain me may every god transmit unto thee his throne for millions of years thy throne hath descended unto thy son horus and the god tem hath decreed that his course shall be among the holy princes in truth he shall rule over thy throne and he shall be heir of the throne of the dweller in the lake of double fire in truth it hath been decreed that in me he shall see his likeness and that my face shall look upon the face of the lord tem how long then have i to live it is decreed that thou shalt live for millions of millions of years a life of millions of years may it be granted unto me that i pass on unto the holy princes for indeed i am doing away with all the wrong which i did from the time when this earth came into being from new when it sprang from the watery abyss even as it was in the days of old i am fate or time and osiris and i have made my transformations into the likeness of divers serpents man knoweth not and the gods cannot behold the twofold beauty which i have made for osiris who is greater than all the gods i have given unto him the region of the dead and verily his son horus is seated upon the throne of the dweller in the lake of double fire as his heir i have made him to have his throne in the boat of millions of years horus is established upon his throne among his friends and all that belonged unto him verily the soul of set which is greater than all the gods hath departed may it be granted that i bind his soul in the divine boat at my will and that he may have fear of the divine body o my father osiris thou hast done for me that which thy father ra did for thee may i abide upon the earth lastingly may i keep possession of my throne may my air be strong may my tomb and my friends who are upon earth flourish may my enemies be given over to destruction and to the shackles of the goddess circ i am thy son and ra is my father for me likewise thou hast made life strength and health horus is established upon his throne grant thou that the days of my life may come unto worship and honour chapter one hundred and seventy six vignette this chapter is without vignette 
text the chapter of not dying a second time the osiris nu the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief triumphant saith that which i abominate is the land of the east let me not enter into the torture chamber let there not be done unto me any of those things which the gods hold in abomination for behold i have passed as a pure being through the mesket chamber and let the god nebuchadnezzar grant unto me his glorious power on the day of burial in the presence of the lord of things rubric if the deceased know this chapter he shall become like a perfect coup in the underworld chapter one hundred and seventy seven vignette the deceased standing upright pure water is being poured out before him and offerings of linen garments are being made unto him text the chapter of raising up the coup and of making the soul to live in the underworld the scribe nebseni the draughtsman in the temple of ptah the lord of piety who is in the favour of his god saith hail nut nut who casteth thy father to earth and settest horus behind him his wings grow like those of a hawk and his plumes like those of him who seeth his soul hath been brought unto him he is filled with words of magical power and his place is decreed for him opposite to the stars of the heaven for behold thou art a star of nut by thyself thou seest the scribe nebseni the lord of piety in happiness and giving his commands unto the khus and behold the divine power or prince is not among them and thy is not among them unless thou art among them thou seest the chief nebseni the scribe and draughtsman of the temple of ptah in the form of a soul who hath the horns of the cows samomet and an unser the black hail children of sarah Bekhet, who have sucked milk from the four uipu cows horus of the blue eyes cometh unto you protect ye horus of the red eyes who is sick let not his soul be turned back let his offerings be brought unto him let the things which are for his benefit be carried to him and let them come upon the shoulder over the west this only one advanceth to thee the god speaketh thy words the gods make thy name to be triumphant before the gods and the company of the gods distinguish thee with their hands the god of the field of the gods speaketh and thou gainest the power over the door of cause in their horizon they unbolt for thee their doors for they have a favour unto thee and thou gainest power over their shrines the god seb and his company of gods enter in and they come forth lifting on high their faces and they look upon thee in the presence of the great god amsu thy head thy head i make to stand up thy head for thee and thou hast power thereover his head diminisheth behind thee but thy head shall not diminish and thou shalt not be destroyed and thou shalt do what thou hast to do before men and before the gods chapter one hundred and seventy eight vignette this chapter has no vignette text the chapter of raising up the dead body of giving sight to the eyes of gaining power over the ears of establishing the head and of providing the face with the power of protection the osiris the scribe nebseni the draughtsman of the temple of ptah the lord of piety saith the eye of horus is presented unto thee and it feedeth thee with the food of offerings hail ye who make the labourers to rejoice and who raise up the heart and purify the body who have eaten the eye of horus thou olive tree in anu destroy ye what evil there is in the body of osiris nebseni the scribe and draughtsman in the temple of ptah o osiris let him not suffer thirst before his god let him suffer neither hunger nor thirst and let the god cause carry them away and let him do away with his hunger o thou that fillest o thou that fillest hearts o chiefs who dispense cakes and ale o ye who have charge of the water flood command ye that cakes and ale be given unto the osiris nebseni even as ra himself commanded this thing and moreover ra hath commanded those who are over the abundance of the year to take handfuls of wheat and barley and to give them to him for his cakes for behold he is a great bull these shall he give to the osiris nebseni o guardian of the five cakes in the divine house three cakes are in heaven before ra and two are upon earth before the company of the gods may he burst through nu may he see may he see o ra be gracious unto the scribe nebseni this day be gracious the scribe nebseni is as a lord of piety according to the command of shu and isis and he hath been united unto the piety of happiness before his god may the gods give cakes and ale unto the scribe nebseni 
and may they prepare for him all good and pure things this happy day things for journeying and travelling things of the eye of horus things of the boat and all things which should enter into the sight of the god thou shalt have power over the water and thou shalt advance to the table of offerings having cakes and four measures of water the eye of horus hath ordered these things for the scribe nebseni and the god shu hath ordered the means of subsistence for him both cakes and ale watch o judges of the form of thoth watch him that lieth in death wake up o thou that dwellest in kenset grant thou offerings in the presence of thoth the mighty god who cometh forth from hapi that is the nile and of apuat who cometh forth from Asert, for the mouth of nebseni the scribe and designer of the temple of ptah is pure the company of the gods offer incense to the scribe nebseni and his mouth is pure and his tongue which is therein is right and true that which the scribe nebseni abominateth is filth and he hath freed himself therefrom even as set freed himself from it in the city of rehu and he has set out with thoth for heaven o ye who have delivered the scribe nebseni along with yourselves let him eat of that whereof ye eat let him drink of that whereof ye drink let him sit down upon that whereon ye sit let him be strong in the strength wherein ye are strong let him sail about where ye sail about the scribe nebseni hath drawn the net together in the region of aru and he hath running water in sekhet hetep and his offerings are among those of the gods the water of the scribe nebseni is the wine of ra and nebseni goeth round about heaven and travelleth therein like unto thoth it is an abomination unto the scribe nebseni to suffer hunger and not to eat and it is an abomination unto him to be thirsty and not to drink but sepulchral meals have been given unto him by the lord of eternity who hath ordered these things for him the scribe nebseni was conceived in the night and was brought forth in the daylight and those who are in the following of ra the divine ancestors adore him the scribe nebseni was conceived in nu and was brought forth in nu and he hath come and hath brought to you what he hath found of that which the eye of horus hath shed upon the branches of the ven tree the governor of those in amenti cometh to him and bringeth to him the divine food and offerings of horus the governor of temples and upon that whereon he doth live the scribe nebseni liveth also and of that whereof he drinketh doth the scribe nebseni the designer of the temple of ptah drink also and facing his offerings of cakes and ale is a haunch of meat also osiris the scribe nebseni is triumphant and he is favoured of anubis who is upon his hill hail scribe nebseni thou hast the form wherein thou hadst thine existence upon earth and thou livest and renewest thy youth each day thy face is uncovered and thou seest the lord of the horizon who giveth to thee sepulchral meals in thy hour and in thy season of night horus hath avenged thee and he hath destroyed the jawbones of thine enemies he hath shut in the doer of violence at the mouth of his fortress hail scribe nebseni thou hast no enemies in hetur and the scales balanced when thou wert weighed therein and the hall wherein they were belonged to osiris the lord of offerings of amentet and thou shalt enter in at will and thou shalt see the great god in his form and life shall be given to thy nostrils and thou shalt triumph over thine enemies hail scribe nebseni what thou abominatest is iniquity the divine lord of creation hath made peace with thee on the night of silencing the weeping and sweet life whereupon thoth resteth hath been given unto thee from the mouth of the company of the gods and thou dost triumph over thine enemies o scribe nebseni thy mother not spreadeth herself over thee in her name of shetet pet and she maketh thee to be a follower of the great god and to be without enemies and she delivereth thee from every evil thing in her name of kenemet ert the divine mighty form who dwelleth among her children o scribe nebseni hail chiefs of the hours ancestors of ra make ye way for the scribe nebseni the lord of piety and let him pass within the circle of osiris the lord of the life of the two lands who liveth for ever and let the scribe nebseni the draughtsman in the temple of ptah the lord of piety the happy one be in the following of nefertem the lotus at the nostrils of ra in the presence of the gods and let him see ra for ever chapter one hundred and seventy nine vignette this chapter has no vignette text the chapter of advancing from yesterday and of coming forth by day whereby he and his members shall be provided with food the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief new triumphant the son of the overseer of the palace amenhetep triumphant saith 
let my speech of yesterday be given unto me i come daily i have come forth from the god of creation i am sepes coming forth from his tree and i am none coming forth from his might i am the lord of the uret crown and the god neheb cow i am tesher who avengeth his eye i died yesterday but i come to-day the mighty lady who is the guardian of the door hath made a way for me i come forth by day against mine enemy and i have gained the mastery over him he hath been given over unto me and he shall not be delivered out of my hand and he shall come to an end before me in the presence of the great divine sovereign chiefs who are in the underworld the first great rank hath been given unto me by him along with the shade and form of the living gods and i have made my path mine enemy hath been brought unto me and he hath been given unto me and he shall not be delivered out of my hand the things which concern me have been ended in the presence of the divine sovereign chiefs of osiris who is clothed in his apparel and behold the governor of those in amenti i am the lord of redness on the day of transformations i am the lord of knives and injury shall not be done unto me i have made my path i am the scribe who writeth down the odorous things which are in the sweet-smelling incense and the things which belong to the mighty ruddy one have been brought to me and the mighty ruddy one hath been given to me i have come forth by day against my enemy i have brought him along i have gained the power over him he hath been given unto me and he shall not be delivered out of my hand he hath come to an end beneath me in the presence of the divine sovereign chiefs and i eat him in the great field on the altar of ur i have gained the mastery over him as sekhet the great lady i am the lord of transformations for i have the transformations of every god and they go round about in me chapter one hundred and eighty vignette the deceased kneeling in supplication before three gods text the chapter of coming forth by day of praising ra and amentet of ascribing praise unto those who dwell in the tuat of opening up a path for the perfect ku in the underworld of causing him to walk of making long his footsteps of going in and coming forth from the underworld and of performing transformations like a living soul the osiris triumphant saith ra setteth as osiris with all the diadems of the divine khus and of the gods of amentet he is the one divine form the hidden one of the tuat the holy soul at the head of amentet un nefer whose duration of life is for ever and for ever words of praise are addressed to thee o osiris in the tuat and thy son horus hath satisfaction in thee and he hath spoken unto thee the decree of words thou makest him to rise upon those who dwell in the tuat like a mighty divine star under whom the things which are his have been brought in the tuat thou travellest through it o son of ra and comest forth like tem words of praise are addressed unto thee by those who dwell in the tuat which is the throne chamber dear to thy majesty the king the prince of Akert, the mighty ruler who is crowned with the uret crown the great god whose seat is hidden the lord and weigher of words and the sovereign of his divine chiefs and words of praise are addressed unto thee by those who dwell in the tuat and they have satisfaction in thee and words of praise are addressed unto thee by those who dwell in the tuat and the divine beings who weep pluck out their hair for thee and they smite their hands together and they praise thee and they cry out before thee and they weep for thee and they rejoice that thy soul hath glorified thy dead body the souls of ra and amentet are exalted and in the zone of the tuat the souls cry out in their songs of exaltation unto the souls of ra who dwelleth therein the body and souls of the god Tchench dwell in the tuat and his divine soul resteth therein hail osiris i am a servant of thy temple and one who dwelleth there within thy divine house and thou utterest with command the words of the decree grant thou that i may rise like a luminary among the denizens of the tuat and like a mighty star unto whom in the tuat the things which are his have been brought let me journey through it like the son of ra and let me come forth as tem let me have rest in the tuat let me gain the mastery over the darkness let me enter therein let me come forth therefrom let thy hands receive me o ta te unen and let the heptu 
hetepu gods lift me up oh stretch ye out your hands to me for i even i know your names lead ye me along praise ye me o hetepu gods with your praises for ra rejoiceth over the praises which are offered unto me even as he doth over those which are offered unto osiris i have established for you your offerings and ye have obtained the mastery over your oblations even as ra hath commanded me to do i am the god mehu and i am his heir upon the earth and i have made my path o ye hetepu gods grant ye that i may enter into the tuat and let me make a way into the beautiful amentet i have established the sceptre of the god sa and the nemi's crown for the god whose name is hidden look ye then o hetepu gods and ye gods who are the guides of the tuat and grant that i may receive my glorious might and let me rise like a luminary above his hidden place and deliver ye me from the deadly stakes of those who are chained thereunto chain ye me not unto your deadly stakes and give ye me not over to the habitation of the fiends who slay i am the heir of osiris and i received his nemi's crown in the tuat look ye upon me then and let me rise like a luminary who hath come forth from your members and let me come into being like my divine father who is worshipped look ye upon me then and rejoice ye in me and grant that i may rise up and that i may come into being like him whose transformations were destroyed open ye away unto my divine soul o ye who stand upon your places grant ye that i may rest in the beautiful amentet and decree ye for me a seat in front of you open out ye to me your paths and draw back for me the bolts of your doors behold o ra as thou art the guide of this earth so let the divine souls be my guides and let me follow after the gods i am he who guardeth his own pylon and i am led along by those who lead i am he who keepeth ward over his doors and who setteth the gods in their places i am he who dwelleth upon his standard within the tuat i am the god henbi the guardian of the lands of the gods i am the boundaries of the tuat i am the god hetepi in aukert my offerings have been made in amentet by the divine souls who dwell in the gods i am the god i am the hidden benu bird i enter in as he resteth in the tuat and i come forth as he resteth in the tuat i am the lord of the celestial abodes and i journey through the night sky after ra my offerings are in heaven in the field of ra and my sepulchral meals are on earth in the field of eru i travel through the tuat like the beings who are with ra and i weigh words like the god thoth i stretch myself at my desire i run forward with my strides in my spiritual form of hidden qualities and my transformations are those of the double god horus set i am the president of the food of the gods of the tuat and i give the sepulchral offerings of the khus i am the god of the mighty heart who smiteth his enemies hail ye gods and khus the ancestors of ra who follow after the divine soul which he hath lead ye me along as ye lead him along and do ye who are the guides of ra and who are leaders dwelling in the upper heaven guide me for i am like unto the divine and holy soul who is in amentet end of chapters one hundred and seventy one through one hundred and eighty chapters one hundred and eighty one through one hundred and ninety of the egyptian book of the dead by e a wallace budge this librivox recording is in the public domain chapter one hundred and eighty one vignette the deceased kneeling in adoration before three gods who are seated before a door behind are a lion-headed and a vulture-headed god each of whom has a serpent above his head text the chapter of entering in to the divine sovereign chiefs of osiris and to the gods who are guides in the tuat and to those who keep ward over their gates and to those who are heralds of their halls and to those who are the porters of the doors and pylons of amentet and of making the transformations like a living soul and of praising osiris and of becoming the prince of the divine sovereign chiefs the osiris kenna triumphant saith homage to thee o governor of amentet unnefer lord of ta chetsert o thou who art diademed like ra verily i come to see thee and to rejoice at thy beauties his disc is thy disc his rays of light are thy rays of light his uret crown is thy uret crown 
his majesty is thy majesty his risings are thy risings his beauties are thy beauties the terror which he inspireth is the terror which thou inspirest his odour is thy odour his hall is thy hall his seat is thy seat his throne is thy throne his air is thy air his ornaments are thy ornaments his decree is thy decree his hidden place is thy hidden place his things are thy things his knowledge or powers is thy knowledge the attributes of greatness which are his are thine the power which protecteth him protecteth thee he dieth not and thou diest not he is not triumphed over by his enemies and thou art not triumphed over by thine enemies no evil thing whatsoever hath happened unto him and no evil thing whatsoever shall happen unto thee for ever and for ever homage to thee o osiris son of nut lord of the two horns whose atef crown is exalted may the uret crown be given unto him along with sovereignty before the company of the gods may the god temu make terror of him to exist in the hearts of men and women and gods and khus and the dead may dominion be given unto him in anu heliopolis may he be mighty of transformations in tatu mendes may he be the lord greatly feared in the aati may he be mighty in victory in restau may he be the lord who is remembered with gladness in the great house may he have manifold risings like a luminary in abtu abidas may triumph be given unto him in the presence of the company of the gods may he gain the victory over the mighty powers may the fear of him be made to go throughout the earth and may the princes stand up upon their stations before the sovereign of the gods of the tuat the mighty form of heaven the prince of the living ones the king of those who are therein and the glorifier of thousands in karaba the denizens of heaven rejoice in him who is the lord of the chosen offerings in the mansions above a meat offering is made unto him in the city het ka ptah memphis and the things of the night are prepared for him in sekhem letopolis behold o mighty god thou great one of twofold strength thy son horus avengeth thee he doeth away with every evil thing whatsoever that belongeth to thee he bindeth up in order for thee thy person he gathereth together for thee thy members he collecteth for thee thy bones he bringeth to thee thy thou art raised up then o osiris i have given unto thee thy hand and make thee to stand up alive for ever and ever the god seb directeth thy mouth the great company of the gods protecteth thee and they accompany thee unto the door of the gate of the tuat thy mother nut placeth her hands behind thee she giveth thee strength and she reneweth the power which protecteth thee birds thy two sisters isis and nephthys come unto thee and they unite thee unto life and strength and health and thy heart rejoiceth before them they in thee through love of thee and they loathe thy hands for thee with things of all kinds all the gods present unto thee provisions and behold they praise thee for ever happy art thou o osiris for thou art crowned and art endowed with strength and art glorious and thine attributes are established for thee thy face is like that of anpu ra rejoiceth in thee and he maketh himself to be a brother to thy beautiful person thou sittest upon thy throne the god seb maketh a libation for thee and that which thou wishest to receive is in thy hands in amentet thou sailest over the celestial regions each day thy mother nut maketh thee to go forth on thy way and thou settest in life in amentet in the boat of ra each day along with horus who loveth thee the protecting strength of ra guardeth thee the words of might of thoth are behind thee and isis maketh strength to follow after thy person i have come to thee o lord of ta chesert osiris governor of those who are in amentet un nefer whose twofold existence is for ever and for ever my heart is right and true my hands are pure i have brought things unto their divine lord and offerings unto the god who made them i have come and i have advanced to your cities i have done that which was good upon earth i have slain thine enemies for thee like sacrificial oxen 
i have slaughtered for thee thy adversaries i have made them to fall down upon their faces before thee i am pure even as thou art pure i have made pure for thee thy festival and i have upon thine altar to thy soul and to thy form and to the gods and to the goddesses who are in thy train rubric if this chapter be known by the deceased things of evil shall not gain the mastery over him and he shall not be turned back from any of the doors of amentet but he shall go in and come out and cakes and ale and all beautiful things shall be given unto him in the presence of those who dwell in the tuat chapter one hundred and eighty two vignette the deceased lying upon a bier within a funeral chest or coffer beneath the bier are three faces at the foot stand isis hapi and tuamartef and at the head nephthys mesha and keb seneth in the upper and lower registers are a number of seated and standing man-headed and animal-headed deities who hold in their hands snakes lizards and knives text the book of establishing osiris firmly of giving air to the still heart whilst thoth repulseth the foes of osiris who cometh there in his transformations and is protected and made strong and guarded in the underworld by the operation of the will of thoth himself and shu setteth upon him each day thoth saith i am thoth the perfect scribe whose hands are pure the lord of the two horns who maketh iniquity to be destroyed the scribe of right and truth who abominateth sin behold he is the writing reed of the god neber the lord of laws who giveth forth the speech of wisdom and understanding whose words have dominion over the two lands i am thoth the lord of right and truth who trieth the right and truth for the gods the judge of words in their essence whose words triumph over violence i have scattered the darkness i have driven away the whirlwind and the storm i have given the pleasant breeze of the north wind unto osiris un nefer as he came forth from the womb of her who gave him birth i have made ra to set as osiris and osiris setteth as ra setteth i have made him to enter into the hidden habitation to vivify the heart of the still heart the holy soul who dwelleth in amentet and to shout cries of joy unto the still heart un nefer the son of nut i am thoth the favoured one of ra the lord of might who bringeth to a prosperous end that which he doeth the mighty one of enchantments who is in the boat of millions of years the lord of laws the subduer of the two lands whose words of might gave strength to her that gave him birth whose word doeth away with opposition and fighting and who performeth the will of ra in his shrine i am thoth who made osiris to triumph over his enemies i am thoth who issueth the decree at dawn whose sight followeth on again after his overthrow at his season the guide of heaven and earth and the underworld and the creator of the life of all nations and peoples i gave air unto him that was in the hidden place by means of the might of the magical words of my utterance and osiris triumpheth over his enemies i came unto thee o lord of ta chesser osiris bull of ament and thou wert strengthened for ever i set everlastingness as a protection for thy members and i came unto thee having protection in my hand and i guarded thee with strength during the course of each and every day protection and life were behind this god protection and life were behind this god and his ka was glorified with power the king of the tuat the prince of amentet the victorious conqueror of heaven hath the atef crown firmly established upon him he is diademed with the white crown and he graspeth the crook and the whip unto him the great one of souls the mighty one of the uraret crown every god gathereth together and love for him who is un nefer and whose existence is for everlasting and all eternity goeth through their bodies homage to thee o governor of those who are in amenti who makest mortals to be born again who renewest thy youth who thou comest who dwellest in thy season and who art more beautiful than thy son horus hath avenged thee the rank or dignity of tem hath been conferred upon thee o un nefer thou art raised up o bull of amentet thou art established yea established in the body of nut who uniteth herself unto thee and who cometh forth with thee 
thy heart is stablished upon that which supporteth it and thy breast is as it was formerly thy nose is firmly fixed with life and power thou livest and thou art renewed and thou makest thyself young like ra each and every day mighty mighty is osiris in victory and he is firmly stablished with life i am thoth and i have pacified horus and i have quieted the two divine combatants in their season of storm i have come and i have washed the ruddy one i have quieted the stormy one and i have filled him with all manner of evil things i am thoth and i have made the things of the night in sekhem letopolis i am thoth and i have come daily into the cities of pe and tepu i have led along the offerings and oblations i have given cakes with lavish hand to the khus i have protected the shoulder of osiris i have embalmed him i have made sweet his odour even as is that of the beautiful god i am thoth and i have come each day into the city of ker abba i have tied the cordage and i have set in good order the makhent boat and i have brought it from the east to the west i am more exalted upon my standard than any god in my name of he whose face is exalted i have opened fair things in my name of apuat that is opener of the road and i have ascribed praise and done homage unto osiris un nefer whose existence is for ever and for ever chapter one hundred and eighty three vignette the deceased and his wife standing with hands raised in adoration thoth ibis headed standing upright and presenting symbols of strength and life text osiris hu nefer the overseer of the palace of the lord of the two lands triumphant praiseth osiris and acclaimeth him and doeth homage unto un nefer and boweth to the ground before the lord of ta chesert and exalteth those who are upon his sand saying i have come unto thee o son of nut osiris prince of everlastingness i am in the following of the god thoth and i have rejoiced at everything which he hath done for thee he hath brought unto thee sweet air for thy nose and life and strength to thy beautiful face and the north wind which cometh forth from tem for thy nostrils o lord of ta chesert he hath made the god shu to shine upon thy body he hath illumined thy path with rays of splendour he hath destroyed for thee all the evil defects which belong to thy members by the magical power of the words of his utterance he hath made the two horus brethren to be at peace for thee he hath destroyed the storm wind and the hurricane he hath made the two combatants to be gracious unto thee and the two lands to be at peace before thee he hath put away the wrath which was in their hearts and each hath become reconciled unto his brother thy son horus is triumphant in the presence of the whole company of the gods the sovereignty over the world hath been given unto him and his dominion is in the uttermost parts of the earth the throne of the god seb hath been adjudged unto him along with the rank which hath been founded by the god temu and which hath been established by decrees in the chamber of books and hath been inscribed upon an iron tablet according to the command of thy father ptah tanen when he sat upon the great throne he hath set his brother upon that which the god shu beareth up to stretch out the waters over the mountains and to make to spring up that which groweth upon the hills and the grain which shooteth upon the earth and he giveth increase by water and by land gods celestial and gods terrestrial transfer themselves to the service of thy son horus and they follow him into his hall where a decree is passed that he shall be lord over them and they perform it straightway thy heart rejoiceth o lord of the gods thy heart rejoiceth greatly egypt and the red land are at peace and they serve humbly under thy sovereign power the temples are established upon their own lands cities and gnomes possess firmly the property which they have in their names and we will make to thee the divine offerings which we are bound to make and offer sacrifices in thy name for ever acclamations are made in thy name libations are poured out to thy ka sepulchral meals are brought unto thee by the khus who are in thy following and water is sprinkled upon the offerings upon both sides of the souls of the dead in this land every design which hath been ordered for thee according to his that is ra's commands in the beginning hath been perfected now therefore o son of nut thou art diademed as neber 
rapture is diademed at his rising thou livest thou art stablished thou renewest thy youth and thou art true and perfect thy father ra maketh strong thy members and the company of the gods make acclamations unto thee the goddess isis is with thee and she never leaveth thee thou art not overthrown by thine enemies the lords of all lands praise thy beauties even as they praise ra when he riseth at the beginning of each day thou risest up like an exalted one upon thy standard thy beauties exalt the face of man and make long his stride i have given unto thee the sovereignty of thy father seb and the goddess mut thy mother who gave birth to the gods brought thee forth as the firstborn of five gods and created thy beauties and fashioned thy members thou art established as king the white crown is upon thy head and thou hast grasped in thy hands the crook and the whip whilst thou wert in the womb and hadst not us yet come forth therefrom upon the earth thou wert crowned lord of the two lands and the atef crown of ra was upon thy brow the gods come unto thee bowing low to the ground and they hold thee in fear they retreat and depart when they see thee with the terror of ra and the victory of thy majesty is in their hearts life is with thee and offerings of meat and drink follow thee and that which is thy due is offered up before thy face grant thou that i may follow in the train of thy majesty even as i did upon earth let my soul be called into the presence and let it be found by the side of the lords of right and truth i have come into the city of god the region which existed in primeval time with my soul and with my double and with my coup to dwell in this land the god thereof is the lord of right and truth he is the lord of the techetha food of the gods and he is most holy his land draweth unto itself every other land the south cometh sailing down the river thereto and the north steered thither by winds cometh daily to make festival therein according to the command of the god thereof who is the lord of peace therein and doth he not say the happiness thereof is a care unto me the god who dwelleth therein worketh right and truth unto him that doeth these things he giveth old age and to him that followeth after them rank and honour and at length he attaineth unto a happy funeral and burial in ta -chisert. i have come unto thee and my hands hold right and truth and my heart hath no crafty wickedness therein i offer up before thee that which is thy due and i know that whereon thou livest i have not committed any sin in the land and i have defrauded no man of that which is his i am thoth the perfect scribe whose hands are pure i am the lord of purity the destroyer of evil the scribe of right and truth and that which i abominate is sin behold me for i am the writing reed of the god neberture the lord of laws who giveth forth the word of wisdom and understanding and whose speech hath dominion over the two lands i am thoth the lord of right and truth who maketh the feeble one to gain the victory and who avengeth the wretched and the oppressed on him that wrongeth him i have scattered the darkness i have driven away the storm and i have brought the wind to unnefer the beautiful breeze of the north wind even as it came forth from the womb of his mother i have caused him to enter into the hidden abode to vivify the heart of the still heart unnefer the son of nut horus triumphant chapter one hundred and eighty four vignette the deceased standing upright before osiris who wears the atef crown and holds in his hands the whip and crook emblems of sovereignty and dominion text the chapter being nigh unto osiris the osiris ua the overseer of the estates of amen triumphant saith chapter one hundred and eighty five vignette osiris at the head of abtu the great god prince of eternity and governor of amentet enthroned within a shrine he holds in his hands the whip and crook emblems of sovereignty and dominion before him with hands raised in adoration stand the deceased and his wife hent neteru the lady of the house the singing woman of amen triumphant text the giving of praises unto osiris and paying homage unto the lord of eternity and propitiating the god in his will and declaring the right and truth the lord of which is unknown the osiris satimes the libationer and president of the altar chamber in the apse the president of the scribes of the temple of amen triumphant saith 
homage to thee o thou holy god thou mighty and beneficent being thou prince of eternity who dwellest in thy abode in the sektet boat thou whose risings are manifold in the atet boat to thee are praises rendered in heaven and upon earth peoples and nations exalt thee and the majesty of the terror of him is in the hearts of men and khus and the dead thy soul is in tetet mendes and the terror of thee is in sutton henen thou settest the visible emblems of thyself in anu and the greatness of thy transformations in the double place of purification i have come unto thee and my heart hath right and truth therein and there is neither craft nor guile in my breast grant thou that i may have my being among the living and that i may sail down and up the river among those who are in thy following chapter one hundred and eighty six vignette the goddess hathor in the form of a hippopotamus wearing upon her head a disc and horns in her right hand she holds an unidentified object and in her left the emblem of life before her are offerings and behind her the cow may urit who may be identified with hathor looks forth from the funeral mountain at the foot of the mountain is the tomb and in the foreground grows a group of flowering plants text hathor lady of amentet mighty dweller in the funeral mountain lady of tachesert daughter or eye of ra dweller before him beautiful of face in the boat of millions of years the habitation or seat of peace creator of law in the boat of the favoured ones chapter one hundred and thirty seven vignette this chapter is without a vignette in the papyrus of nu text the chapter of entering in unto the company of the gods the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief nu triumphant saith homage to you o company of the gods of ra i have come before you i am in the following of ra i have made my way and i have passed in among you let not my hand be repulsed in whatsoever i do this day chapter one hundred and thirty eight vignette this chapter is without a vignette in the papyrus of nu text the chapter of the going in of the soul to build an abode and to come forth by day in human form the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief nu triumphant the son of the overseer of the palace amen hetep triumphant saith come in peace thou hast a coup enter thou in peace into the divine uchat behold thou hast a coup together with a soul ba and a she ka ibit to look thereupon may it behold me when i am judged in whatever place it may be with my attributes and with my form and with my faculties of mind and with all my attributes ordered and perfect even as a soul which is provided with all things and is divine may i shine like ra in his divine splendour in the temple and may my soul and my shade come to me upon their legs from the place where i am judged and behold me may i stand up and sit down and enter into the house of his body which behold hath become one of the starry gods of osiris who travel by day and journey by night and celebrate the festivals chapter one hundred and eighty nine this chapter is without a vignette in the papyrus of nu text the chapter of not letting a man perform a journey being hungry and of not letting him eat filth the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief nu triumphant the son of the overseer of the palace amen hetep triumphant saith the things which are an abomination unto me the things which are an abomination unto me i will not eat what i abominate is filth and i will not eat thereof in the place of the sepulchral cakes which are offered unto the cause let me not be thrown down upon it let it not light upon my body let it not enter into my fingers and let it not join itself unto my toes thou shalt live then upon that which the gods and the khus decree for me in this place and upon that which is brought unto thee there let me live upon the seven cakes which shall be brought unto me four cakes before horus and three cakes before thoth the gods and the khus shall say unto me what manner of food wouldst thou have given unto thee and i reply let me eat my food beneath the sycamore tree of the goddess hathor and let my times be among the divine beings who have alighted thereon let me have the power to order my own fields in tattoo and my own growing crops in anu let me live upon bread made of white barley and let my beer be made from red grain and may the persons of my father and mother be given unto me as guardians of my door and for the ordering of the divine territory 
let me be sound and strong let me have a large room let me make a way let me have my seat wherever i please like a living soul and let me never be kept in restraint by mine enemy that which is an abomination unto me is filth and i will not eat thereof let me never pass over filth and awful in anu but let it depart from me i am the bull who ordereth his habitation i fly like the mighty one i cackle like the smen goose and i alight upon the beautiful sycamore which standeth in the lake of akad i come forth and i alight upon it he who alighteth there in the form of the great god shall not be driven away therefrom the things which i abominate i will not eat the things which i abominate the things which i abominate are filth and awful and i will not eat thereof the things which are an abomination unto my ka are filth and awful they shall never enter into my body they shall never come into my hands and i will never tread upon them with my sandals o oh, send ye not forth against me foul water harm ye not me with the rod give ye not unto me snatch ye me not away from the edge of your deep cisterns and let me not depart from you being overthrown the divine alkhemu brings of the god pen haseb shall say unto me upon what wilt thou live in this land whither thou art going and wherein thou wouldst be glorious and i reply i will live upon the cakes made of black grain and upon ale made of white grain and upon four cakes and sekhet hetep which is more than the food of any or every god moreover i have four loaves of bread during the course of each and every day besides four loaves in anu which is more than the food of any or every god and the divine alkhemu beings of the god pen haseb shall say unto me what hast thou brought to eat in that holy furrow on that day when i receive my offerings with anti unguent and i reply i will not eat thereof it shall not come into my hands and i will not tread thereon with my sandals and the divine alkhemu beings of the god pen haseb shall say unto me upon what wilt thou live in this land whither thou art going and wherein thou wouldst be glorious and i reply i will live upon the seven cakes which shall be brought four in the temple of horus and three in the temple of thoth and the divine al kamu beings of the god pen haseb shall say unto me who then shall bring them unto thee and i reply the divine associate of the temples of the herachati goddesses of anu and they say where wilt thou eat them and i reply beneath the beams of the beautiful ark to which hymns are sung as it is borne along thither shall i be taken and the divine al kamu beings of the god pen haseb shall say unto me wouldst thou live then upon the things which belong to another every day and i reply i will myself plough the fields of my estate in sekhet Aru. and the divine al kamu beings of the god pen haseb shall say unto me who will protect them for thee and i reply the two divine daughters of the divine king of the north besides those who belong to them and the divine al kamu beings of the god pen haseb shall say unto me who will plough them for thee and i reply the divine chiefs who dwell among the gods of heaven and the gods of earth the treading down of the earth shall be done for me by the cow goddess hapiu who dwelleth in the city of sal and the harvest shall be reaped for me by sudi the lord of heaven and of earth hail ye who turn back the blossoms upon yourselves ye whose transgressions are done away with whose faces are holy behold i am with the divine beings of set at the mountain of bacow and i sit down along with the spiritual bodies who are perfect on the side of the lake of osiris to rejoice my heart shall not i make the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief new triumphant to no light chapter one hundred and ninety vignette this chapter is without a vignette in the papyrus of nu text the book of making perfect the coup within ra of making him to gain the mastery before tem of magnifying him before osiris of making him to be powerful before the governor of amentet and of causing him to be mighty before the company of the gods rubric this book shall be recited on the first day of the month of the festival on the festival of the six on the festival of uak on the festival of thoth on the birthday of osiris on the festival of sekri and on the festival of the night of haker it will enable 
a man to pass through the hidden places of the tuat and to penetrate the secret habitations of neder kirk to break through mountains and to open up a way through the secret valleys which are unknown this chapter shall preserve or embalm the coup it shall make broad his steps it shall give him power to walk it shall destroy the deafness of his face and it shall enable him to make a way for his face with the god when thou recitest this chapter thou shalt not let any man whatsoever see thee except him that is indeed dear to thy heart and the priest who readeth the service ker heb thou shalt not let any other person see thee and no servant shall come outside the chamber wherein thou art thou shalt recite this chapter inside a chamber lined with cloth decorated literally shot with stars throughout the soul of every ku that is the deceased for whom this book hath been recited shall come forth among the living he himself shall come forth by day and he shall gain the mastery among the gods and shall not be repulsed by them and these gods shall revolve around about him and they shall acknowledge literally recognize him and indeed he shall be as the divine one among them and he shall make thee to know the transformations which shall come to him in the light this book is indeed a very great mystery and thou shalt never allow those who dwell in the papyrus swamps of the delta that is ignorant folk or any person whatsoever to see it End of chapters one hundred and eighty one through one hundred and ninety end of the egyptian book of the dead by e a wallace budge